Yeah, indeed, certainly a difficult situation, Alex. Let's start with that news that's just emerged in the last couple of minutes that the Prime Minister is going to hold a press conference here in Downing Street within uh, the next hour. We have seen Cabinet Ministers, including the Education Secretary, the Transport Secretary, the Health Secretary, come in and out of Downing Street this afternoon. It is clear that there has been a very significant meeting and that we are expecting at 6 o'clock to hear probably that further restrictions are going to be imposed in England to try and tackle the Omicron variant that is continuing to grow over 500 cases across the UK. What does that mean in terms of restrictions? We're still a long way off where we were this time last year, a long way off from lockdown restrictions. But what it does mean is that we could see vaccine passports introduced in England, uh, i.e. that you will need to show that you are double vaccinated to get into large-scale events like football games, for example, and also that the government is likely to order people yet again to work from home. Uh, that will have a serious economic impact, not least of all on the hospitality industry, on bars and restaurants, who are already struggling with many people who've cancelled Christmas parties. And in addition to that, this is their best time of the year, isn't it, to a large degree? This is when bars and restaurants make an awful lot of money. It is one of the reasons that the pound this year has fallen to its lowest uh, level that we've seen since uh, January. So the Prime Minister likely to unveil that so-called Plan B in an hour's time. Sajid Javid, the Health Secretary, simultaneously likely to make a statement in the House of Commons. But you're right, this feeds into a wider story of what politically is played out here in Westminster today about these allegations that a party was held in December of last year in which Downing Street staff attended it, dozens of them, that there was frankly no social distancing, so the claims go, and that rules may well have been broken. Now, that video that emerged last night leaked has led to Allegra Stratton's resignation uh, today. Uh, she says that she did not mean to make light of the rules and is profoundly apologetic. The Prime Minister at lunchtime said he was furious and sickened by the video. But those questions about the party on the 18th of December, well, they remain unanswered. We know the Cabinet Secretary is now launching an investigation into that. And there are other allegations that other parties may well have taken place in this building behind me in November and December last year when we were all told they weren't allowed. Interesting, isn't it? Because despite the first head having rolled, we still don't really know what on earth actually went on last year. The Prime Minister, is he going to be leading that press conference later at six o'clock? And is he going to open himself up to questions from the press? Because it struck me as quite remarkable this morning that all Cabinet members were pulled from doing interviews today in front of national media. Yeah, indeed, Satya Javid was meant to do the usual morning round of the TV and radio stations. He did not. Uh, you're right in pointing uh, that out, Alex. Uh, we're told that's because the Prime Minister wants to make that announcement about the investigation by the Cabinet Secretary. Yes, the Prime Minister will lead that press conference. Yes, there will be questions from the press. I'm sure among them will be about trying to get more details when it comes to what may well have happened here last December. You're right in pointing out that the Prime Minister, of course, for the last week has told anyone who will listen to him that he has been assured time and time again that no party did take place. In fact, it is what he said again in the Commons today at PMQs. He said that he had sought assurances that there was no party. And as far as he is aware, there wasn't one. And yet we've ended up in this slightly peculiar situation in which one of his advisers has resigned, apparently making light of a party that apparently did happen, and also that he has launched an investigation into what precisely happened, which might lead you to conclude that there was some type of party here in uh, Downing Street. Politically, is this damaging for the Prime Minister? I think to a large degree it is. In some ways, it may well be worse than what happened at Barnard Castle with Dominic Cummings last year. Will it make it more difficult to impose restrictions? Will compliance be hit amongst the public who think it is one rule for them and one rule for the rest of us? That is also entirely possible. And there are also, as I say, these other big, deep, fundamental questions about his political leadership in all of this. A lot of Conservative MPs, very angry this afternoon about what has gone on here and how the government seemed to yet again have scored an own goal.